My name is Alois Saria. I am Professor for Neurochemistry at the Medical University of Innsbruck in Austria and I am leading the education program of the Human Brain Project. The objective of the education program actually is to bridge the gaps between the various disciplines of the Human Brain Project. Brain research, and particularly uh, this flagship project, uh, needs a number of trained experts from various disciplines, such as physics, such as engineering, such as biology or medicine. And unfortunately, and particularly in Europe, traditional universities do not offer a complete curricula on all these disciplines. And also traditional brain research actually is more uh, focused on uh, disciplines in dif different research areas. So it's actually necessary to educate researchers, particularly young researchers, to understand the languages of colleagues in different disciplines in order to understand the, the various parts of brain research and particularly this big flagship project. We plan to organize uh, a advanced school, at least one every year, on the core disciplines of the Human Brain Project, which is future neuroscience, future computing, and uh, future medicine. These schools are more advanced in terms of the content and uh, the teaching purpose and therefore the target group for these schools is already quite advanced uh, master students, advanced PhD students and uh, also young postdocs. In addition to the schools we will organize annually five complementary workshops which complement the open online courses on neurobiology, brain medicine, computing, intellectual property rights and technology transfer, and ethics. And these complementary workshops are for non-experts, so they are actually designed for master students or PhD students coming from complementary disciplines in order to gain the knowledge and uh, uh, learn on topics and disciplines they are not primarily trained for. In addition, we are organizing an annual student conference, which is a conference organized by students, for students, and the goal of this conference is actually to give students a platform to present their own research data, also link to students from outside the Human Brain Project and exchange knowledge and information about their work, and in addition, give at least some students the opportunity in uh, helping organizing these conferences to gain complementary skills, organizational skills uh, for uh, how to run a scientific conference or similar organizational uh, issues.
Well, there are a number of challenges related to the education and the education program in the Human Brain Project. One is the sheer size of the project, which means that we have to uh, establish a firm communication and a good communication between over 100 partners and students from over 100 part partners, which actually is a couple of hundred PhD students. And a second challenge, of course, is the distance to overcome, because uh, all those students are scattered all over Europe, and we have to uh, find a means to link the education program uh, through these distances, which we do actually through partly through uh, open online and distant learning tools. And of course, uh, uh, the, the major challenge in terms of uh, the contents of the education program is the different disciplines and the different languages which uh, we not only assumed but we also found out during our initial events that there are really different languages spoken by uh, uh, for instance uh, students coming from the computing area and biologists so we have to find a specific means to overcome that Well, the Human Brain Project is at the edge of uh, the change, a change of paradigm in brain research, which means that uh, it uh, leaves uh, the traditional ways of brain research, how brain research is conducted at this moment. And uh, the project itself in the future will need this highly uh, transdisciplinary researchers and we need to train them now because in a few years the young researchers will be leaders of the project and guarantee the sustainability of the Human Brain Project. But the project itself and we believe uh, the way brain research will be carried out in the future will change dramatically compared to this moment. And this also means that in the future probably traditional universities will need to change, will need to change their programs, will need to change their curricula to adapt to these uh, new paradigms in research and the changes, changes brain research will face.